Hey everyone, so today I'm going to share with you how to create this really cute and simple planner dashboard for your Target Dollar Spot planner. Of course, you can apply this to any planner that you can actually um, you know, cut and hole punch into a planner. So maybe like a spiral notebook, this might not work, but for the Happy Planner and Target Dollar Spot Planner, this should work very well. So the key to doing this is to find the images that you love most. And these images that I'm showing you here, I've created like a little folder on my desktop, and then I just simply spend some time going to Google Images and finding pictures that I love the most that make me the happiest. So I'm just kind of showing you some examples. And then you want to go ahead and head over to pickmonkey.com. I will link all the information down below. But this is the best website to take all of your photos and create a collage. And so this is the collage I'm going to use in today's video. So I'm showing you here, we're going to go to Pick Monkey, And then you have to save the photos that you get from Google Images and then you simply pull them from your desktop. So I'm just gonna do a different little collage just to show you, cause I'm not gonna recreate the one that I've already done. And that's it, you just drag and drop and then you just kind of rotate them around, make them smaller, make them bigger until you get the image that you like the most. The next step that I've done here is I'm saving it. So I am just going to name this collage one and I'm going to save it back to my folder where I keep all of my favorite images. And then once I have that image saved into that folder, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and then I'm gonna paste it into a Word document. And from here, it's that simple. You can resize it any way that you want. Um, you can make it slimmer, taller, wider, whatever, and then you just simply click print. So another option I wanna show you is you can actually add text as well from PicMonkey. So I'm taking the original image that I'm working on in today's video and I imported it into PicMonkey and then I'm going to pick the font that I like and I'm just using an example here but I'm saying Rachel's Planner just to give you an idea of what it would look like if you wanted to like put your name on it. And then you can also make it bigger, you can also change the color and you know pick any font that you like. Once you have the image the way that you want it, you just click print. And here I am going to add it to some construction paper just to give it a little bit more thickness. And also because I didn't want to stretch my image too long to fit the size for like the folder from the Target Dollar Spot, the pink one that you just saw there. But I do want it to be long enough like it, but it was okay that it was a little bit wider than the folder too. So I'm just using some glue stick here and I'm applying it to this cute lavender construction paper and I'm gonna trim it down. And then of course, you know, once you flip that dashboard over, you wanna have some sort of image on the back. So I'm actually going to add this scrapbook on top of it, but you can also add any sticker, anything that you want here. You can also do another image like the one from the front. So, but I'm just taking this scrapbook paper and just keeping it simple. And I just added some glue stick to that as well. I was gonna feed it through my cutting tool, but I realized it would probably be easier if I just use scissors here so that I didn't cut into the lavender paper. So once you have that done, then you want to use your thermal laminating pouches. I'm gonna go with this eight by eight and a half by 11 because the five by seven I have is too small. So I'm just putting that there and then we're going to feed that through the laminator. And you can feed it through twice, um, but I just let it go through the laminator one time. 
Next, I am going to trim down the excess laminating sheet. You don't want to cut into the seal. If you've never used a laminator before, once you run it through, you'll see, you'll see that there's like this little air bubble pocket. You don't want to cut into that because it's going to open up the laminating sheet. So you want to cut just outside of that. So I'm basically just trimming this down and then I am going to use my pink little folder from the Target Dollar Spot as my guide to put my hole punch through. I'm just using a pen mark here and I really do need a new hole puncher because this Dollar Tree one is really difficult to use when your um, object is too thick to cut through. And that is it, you guys. And of course, it's a dashboard. If you've seen any dashboards on YouTube, you'll know that a lot of people add like sticky notes and all kinds of things to it. But I just want it just for cuteness purposes. But you can add anything that you want here. You can add all the cute little envelopes I make. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely love it. I hope you love it. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you soon. Bye.